on, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry from Power from that website. Your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And I'm I'm here again with another bench press FAQ. This is the third one. I'm gonna answer five questions thoroughly researched that I found, and I'm gonna just answer them because hey, why not? Also, before I get into this, the ebook for um the black book of powerlifting is out. I wanted to make it free, but I couldn't. Because, I mean, I'm going to eventually. It's only 99 cents. Um. I didn't want to make you pay for it because, hey, you guys don't know me. So I want you guys to just see all the information I've um, compiled for powerlifting and the things that I've noticed that I didn't know when I first started out that I wish that I did know and that I wish was in one, like, just one area for me to consume. Because the thing with the Internet is that there's so much information out here that it's very difficult to find out what's useful, what's not. It's just a lot of data and you don't know what to do with it. So it's not even information, it's just data and I don't, you know, it's very difficult. So I put it all in one book and I made it available for you guys. I'm also going to make an audio form. It's going to be on the website. I'm also going to make it a paperback version. So you'll be getting that soon. Um, okay, so let's get into it. First question is, does bench pressing slow your growth? If so, how... Um, all right, so first things first, I, <laughs> I actually remember I was, um, I started doing, I started benching, like, cause I know my, my parents and my brother had a bench, a uh, flat bench in the basement of our house. I started benching when I was, um, oh, was I 12 or 11? I was like in fifth grade. I remember that. I used to see swole dudes bench pressing. I was like, why the fuck, like, how, how can I get like that? And they used to get all the chicks or women. Sorry. So I'm like, how do I get like that, right? So I used to bench, and I was five foot, and I'm like, I used to do a lot of stuff, but I'm like, I, I was five foot, and I'm like, is it? Am I messing myself up? Um, because I wasn't growing, and, and I soon realized that it's genetic. My, my dad is only five seven. He's five. He's older now, so he's like five five, five six. He's out of shape. So he's five six, five five. But yeah, so um. I remember not like being smaller and I was wondering like is this messing me up and the thing is I mean now I'm like five eight and a half five nine I look taller because my uh I have good posture but yeah um there's actually no research supporting the idea that lifting weights will slow your growth I mean in fact now this is just this very vague answer um, lifting weights actually increases hormone production, so for dudes, testosterone levels, and I think women too, I don't know for certain, I'm not going to say that, but, so, and testosterone helps you make, put on mass and make strength gains, so, will it slow your growth? It depends, I mean, if we're talking about, like, size, like, height, or, you know, I, I wouldn't say so, but if we're talking about strength and muscle mass and stuff like that, I definitely would say, I would have to, and the post actually said, I'm going to have to say no to this one, dog. I think I think that's off. Uh, I forgot. Randy Randy uh, Jackson. Don't quote me. I don't know. I haven't seen that whatever show. American Idol actually. I haven't seen that in a long time. So I'm pretty sure that was his name. Uh, all right. Next question: Will doing bench or push ups improve your bench press? I think that's complete BS. You'll hear tons of people. Obviously, there has to be some type of truth to it. If I hear all these people saying, "Yeah, all you gotta do is do push ups." push-ups will increase your bench rest. I've heard people say that. I, it just never worked to me. I've had people say, hey, do uh, lift, uh, pick up 165 or 155, do as many reps as you can with that, then get on the ground, do as many push-ups as you can, and then keep doing that and repeat that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll do it. It didn't work for me. I swear to God, I was stuck at 135 for the longest until I did um, start doing pyramid sets. And after I started doing pyramid sets, my bench press shot up to 205, and I fixed my form, and my bench press shot up to, you know, I was able to do 215 for reps. I mean, now I'm obviously struggling, but it's gonna get, it's getting better. But that's the thing, though. Like, that, I don't know. Obviously, there are people who say um, there are ways to get, increase your bench using push-ups, and I put that in the art. I put that in the answer. I guess that's probably just me. It's me. It was probably something I was doing wrong. I don't know, but I put that in the answer. There's an article by Livestrong.com that says there do this to do this with push-ups to increase your bench press. It may work for others. Just for me, no. I don't, I'm not going to tell you that it doesn't work. Um, how much weight should you be able to lift at the bench press and dumbbell press? Um, a rule of thumb, I'm not even going to just go over this completely. A rule of thumb for the bench press is that um, you should be able to bench your body weight. Uh, obviously, bench goes up with mass. So the bigger you are, the more weight you can lift. So rule of thumb, body weight. Um, with dumbbells, I don't know. There's no weight. Like, there's no given weight that you should be able to, like, bench with dumbbells. I mean, if you now this is what I can say. 
and this isn't research. This is off of a, a just thought. Like, all right, so there's a guy. No, there's not a guy. They say if you're able to bench, I found that if you're able to bench, like say 200, 225, 250, right, you should be able to handle 100 pound dumbbells. Like, you should be able to do that. I can bench when I was able. To, I mean, I can still do it. If I can bench 180, 200 pounds. I could bench 95 pound dumbbells for reps. I've done that. So I know like there should be a, there's a carryover. There's a reason why dumbbell press, incline dumbbell, flat bench dumbbell, decline, I don't really do, but the, there, there's a reason why people use those for assistance movements. There, the direct carryover to like the bench and like the incline, whatever, shoulder press, whatever. So you should be able to lift somewhere near on each arm half, I think. Now don't quote me on this. Half of what you're actually benching. Um, that's just what I found. Like that's what I've seen. Like so, if you're if you're benching one eighty, you should be able to do at least eighty pound dumbbells for like you know a rep, like for a single, like you know, you know what I'm saying. Now that's just what I found. Obviously, don't quote me, but there's a direct carryover. So yeah. Now next is, is it okay for me to bench press three times a week? It depends on what you're going for. I wouldn't do it because I'm going for strength. Um, I've already, I really think that's the reason why I'm, I'm overtraining. So there's, a, I think that's a, the, well, not overtraining some way. Like I'm also not eating and stuff like that. So I think that's the reason why um, my bench is plateauing so much, but, or it's actually de declining. So <laughs> it's time for a uh, D-Lo week probably. But so yeah, um, is it okay for me to bench three times a week? I don't know. It depends. I mean, I've heard of people doing that, and they probably you just don't go heavy. You go heavy once a week, and then do like two other like volume day, and then a technical day or whatever. I don't know. I don't do it. Um, if you're going for strength, I wouldn't do it. That's what this site is about. Following, so I wouldn't do it because you're not gonna get stronger. I mean, you're going you benching heavy three times a week, you're gonna hurt yourself. Probably, very likely. <laughs> Uh, next question is, that's it, actually. I was, I was on the right. Nope. One more question. What percent is the top 1% bench press? Um, I'm 16 and I bench four or five. Well, I didn't really say the percentage that the top 1% benches. Cause I don't know. I don't think there's any information out there on that. There might be, I haven't seen it. Um, what I can say is that the, since the dude is uh 16 and benches four or five, he's already up there. Because, you know, even though we hear about people benching 405, we hear about people benching 315 and all of that weight, very little, like, j those are rare cases. Like, that's a lot of weight, especially for a 16-year-old. Like, I wonder how much he's going to end up benching when he, if he keeps going progressing at the way he's uh, progressing, I wonder what he's benching at 25 or 21 or 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy weight. And I hope he doesn't hurt himself. I mean, but if he wants to do it, he does what he does. So, um, yeah, that's crazy. You hear from me next time. Don't forget to check the book out. Follow me on the social media accounts that'll be linked under this uh, article in the description. And peace.